Sixers fans, welcome back. Uh, the process is over. Yeah. Um, that was not a good game. I wish I had more to say, to be honest. I, I wish I hit record with all these awesome rant ideas and, and ideas of what to say and what to talk about and try and shape it in, like, a positive way, which I usually try to do, but, like, there's just, there's really nothing right now that's positive to say about this team. Um, I think what's obvious to every single person that's watched a game in this series is Ben Simmons is gone, man. I have never... I've never been so just disappointed in 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 a in an athlete in my entire life. Um I don't care I don't care what happens from here to the beginning of the season, but I never want to see Ben Simmons in a Sixers jersey again. I am just absolutely I feel I feel like I don't even know what the right word is. I I feel like he's just gave up on the entire city of Philadelphia and the just complete epitome of the entire Ben Simmons situation is the fact he has a dunk underneath the rim and he decides to make a, a stupid pass to the thigh bowl. I'd never want to see Ben Simmons in a Sixers jersey again. He is just an utter disgrace to the city, man. Like imagine just being that good at something and never working on it and just having no work ethic. I can't even imagine. I can't imagine. I don't think the other guys on the team can imagine like Embiid. I mean, Embiid didn't have the greatest game ever, but he still, you know, played hard. The dude has come up from nothing and has worked at everything to put himself in the situation that he's at. And then there's Ben Simmons, a dude born with every gift in the world and just decides to just not work on anything. I just, I feel like cheated by a guy like that. We gave $180 million to a dude who doesn't give a shit about anything other than streaming when he plays video games. So, personally, I never want to see Ben Simmons in a Sixers jersey again. I'm actually pretty excited, like, right now. Like, the, we got the lottery on Tuesday. Um, I'm probably going to be making a lot, of, a lot of hypothetical Sixers trade videos just for Ben Simmons because I don't think they're... Daryl Morey will get destroyed. The Sixers front office will get killed if I think Ben Simmons returns for another year. There's no way, right? Like, there's no way. I don't even care if his trade value is lower than it's ever been. There's no way. There's no way Ben Simmons comes back next year as a Sixer. I'll lose my shit. Um, Seth Curry had a good game. He tried keeping us in the game. But we just... We didn't have that energy, you know? We didn't have that energy with Maxi or Shake Milton or, or guys. Guys didn't really come in and just give us sparks. We were looking for a spark from something all game. But we didn't have anything. We're just... We're lucky that Trey Young went like 4 for 20-something from the field. But, you know... White Hope Kevin Herter went up and just put up a career high in playoffs points against the Sixers because he kills the Sixers. Gallo had a pretty good game. John Collins played pretty well. Trey Young was terrible, and we still lost the game at home, dude. Three home losses in a series against a team that we are far superior than. Ben Simmons has got to go. Doc Rivers was atrocious tonight. Like, there's like a minute left in the game. We're down by three, and... We have four shooters on the court, and the play that we draw up is an isolation of Embiid at the top of the key. What, what are we doing there? Embiid's a center. He's not a point guard. He's not going to create his own shot. Why let, a, why let a center dribble into a post up when you can just post the dude up from the jump? That doesn't make any sense to me. Starting Cork Miles again was a stupid decision. It just is a stupid decision. Ben Simmons was just a negative dude. An absolute negative. Like... It comes to a point where, like, the only reason we won game six was because Simmons was out literally the whole game. You just got to – it's come to a point where Daryl Morey has to do whatever he has to do to get him out. Find a point guard, dude. MB needs a point guard. MB doesn't need this stupid, versatile, because he's not anything else, forward who is a ball-dominant guard who can't score to save his damn life and doesn't care about basketball and has no willing to fight. Like, the thing Jimmy Butler brought to Philadelphia was just fight, the fighting mentality. Like, we need a bucket, I'll get. I'll go get the bucket. And Tobias Harris tonight, dude, like, 
I, I get it. He a lot of his shots didn't fall, but he had like five or six just shots that just went in and out, and it was just not his night. But like at least he went out and tried to get his own bucket. At least Toby's out there trying to be the guy. I don't think Toby is the go-to scorer in the fourth quarter, but at least he he realizes it's got to be him, because Ben Simmons is just a liability, dude. He's a liability to a to a fan that has never seen a Sixers game, to a person who's never seen an NBA game, can watch a game and watch how he just brings nothing to a team. And it's just, it's so disappointing. Like, it really sucks because I'm a Ben Simmons supporter. I've, I've been all year. I'm always the guy that says, you know, let him, let him play, let him, let him grow, let him, you know, do his thing because he has the potential, but he just never reaches it. And I, to, for his sake, dude, I hope it's something that comes with age. Like, I, I hope we, we, we trade Ben Simmons and we don't get just destroyed in the deal because of his value of whatever it is nowadays. And I hope he's good wherever he goes. Like, I, I, I'll i never hold a grudge against him. You know, I'll never hold a grudge against the dude who I grew up watching playing in college and was just enamored by the possibility of, like, what he can be. You know, and, and I love Ben Simmons and... Dude, he was a better player in the summer league his rookie year than he is now. Like, it's just so crazy to me. Like, he's just the softest mentality. Like, what's the opposite of a dog? He's a cat. He has cat mentality. <laughs> Man, it's tough. I just... I wish he cared more. And, like, the whole game doesn't go down to Ben Simmons, obviously. We had guys who didn't make shots, and we just... The bench didn't really come in and bring any spark that we needed, and... Thibel had a really terrible foul in the fourth quarter on uh, Herter in that three-point attempt. I mean, that was just like... That exemplifies Mitzi Thibel's like home run or strikeout defense. <laughs> he'll either block the shit out of your, your shot or he'll foul you. I mean, he's done that his whole career. But if your leader is on the bench with two minutes left in the fourth quarter because he brings nothing to the team. How do you expect to ask the guys who are 20 years old to step up and be the guy? Like, we can't be mad at Maxie. You, you, you can't ask something out of a rookie to come in and be like, take us to the Eastern Conference Finals when we were paying a guy $180 million to do what? He's this Defensive Player of the Year guy, but he just, all series, he just wasn't good. On either side of the ball, oh, either, either side of the court. Sixers were objectively objectively better with Simmons fouled out, with Simmons off the court. And I don't know where the Sixers are headed from here, but the process is over. And that that really hurts because, you know, that's what I grew up with. This has been a almost a decade of, of, of work to get to this point, and this is how it ends, and that's really unfortunate, so... Uh, I'll probably make a video tomorrow to talk about it a little deeper. But this is my initial reaction to Game 7. Peace out. Go Sixers. Hey, if you can make it through the night, there's a brighter day, Sixers fans. One day, hopefully in our lifetime, unless we're the Chicago Cubs, we will see the Larry O'Brien trophy hoisted. And all of this will be worth it when the day the Sixers win a championship. That's all I can say. Peace.